God, my microphone, headphone, and uh, controller cables have all got so painfully intertwined that I'm no longer certain they are separate entities. Like, I think if I unraveled them, there would somehow only be one cable left. I guess I just have to live with this, it's fine. Uh, welcome back. Um, today we have bigger things on our plate than the, the tangledness. The tangledness of uh, some controllers. That's not what I wanted to do. Because uh, we have a, a Whitney to defeat and... Uh, I'm worried my team aren't up to it, to be honest. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Um, if there's one precious entity that we need to uh, make sure stays alive, regardless of what else happens, then it is it is Phallus. Phallus needs to continue the legacy. If everyone else gets KO'd, we need Phallus to, to stay strong and uh, keep us all on track. I've not been... Uh... Oh, there's the wrong button again. How do I get back to box one to one to six? How do I do that? Oh, here we go. We found it. We found it. Okay. We got Hoot Hoot in there. We got Phallus in there. Um, remind me to just always click move because it's it's so dumb that there are other buttons you can press there. Uh, I'm pretty certain uh, pretty certain Bronze here isn't dead. So Bronze is going to join the party in Phallus' stead. There we go. These guys over here, these are all fucked though. These are all uh, definite grave lurkers. Sucks to be them, I guess. I'm kind of over their deaths at this point. I've got a new team. I like them better. <laughs> but yeah, we got we got Bronze as backup now. Uh, what are you rocking, Bronze, by the way? How are you doing? Are you, are you good? Or are you serious? That's good to know. I need a serious guy on the team. You know, Fury Attack and Focus Energy. You don't even have Twin Needle or Poison Sting or anything that will be remotely useful. You have Fury Attack and Focus Energy. Okay, alright. Okay, well, uh, let's go. Let's go do this. Enough dilly-dallying. <laughs> We've fucked around grinding and doing pretty much everything possible on the agenda other than fighting Whitney for, what, four episodes now? I think it's about time we actually just go do it, eh? It's about time we just get it. Why can I not get through here? That's so such a weird decision. It's such a weird decision to make me have to go around here now. That's not how the gym used to be, and it's very confusing to me. By the way, just for anyone who's never noticed this before, the gym is shaped like a Clefairy. You taking that in? Good, let's go. Hi, I'm Whitney. You, I saw you at the radio tower. Uh, the Pokemon are cute. Let's battle. I'm good. I know you're good. I know you're good. Your goodness was never in question, young Whitney. Please don't destroy me with the Clefairy before we even get to the real threat. I'm terrified of the Clefairy, genuinely. Please, just, just, just one-shot it. Please. That's not a one-shot, fuck. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Please don't do anything too bad with your metronome. Oh, it used Mimic! Okay, that was stupid of it. Uh, I guess I'll just poison sting it off the board then. You crafty bitch. That's fine, that means she's used it on the Clefairy, so she's not going to use it on the Meltank. She's wasted her, her, one, uh, her one super potion. And I'm just going to kill this before it gets another turn anyway. No, no! I swear to god I moved my cursor right. I did. Honestly, I did. Please don't... Oh, thank fuck it didn't do anything. Whew. Whew, that could have been... That could have been unfortunate. Right. No more fuck-ups like that, eh? No more of that. Jennifer, this is the, the biggest fight of your life you're about to go into. Now, I think what we're going to do... I think what we're going to do first... No, because that's just going to bait out the rollout, isn't it? If I go into Geodude, they're just going to immediately start rolling out. Geodude needs to be my my backup option, right? In case Jennifer can't do the work, we, we, we sacrifice someone, get the safe swap into Geodude, set up Confuse Ray then, hope. 
hope that bails us out. Yeah, we'll stick with Jennifer. We'll stick with Jennifer. Because gym leaders, I think, have good enough AI to use super effective moves at least, so they would just go straight for rollout regardless of what else is happening. Okay, I do outlevel it. So that's that's good to know. I didn't realise it was only level 19. I thought it was like level 22 or something. Still a tough motherfucker though. How much is the stomp going to do? Some, but not as much as I'm doing with double kick, so... Generally positive vibes right now. Generally. That's fine. That's fine. It can milk drink. I don't mind. I don't mind it doing that. Oh, it can outspeed me, though. That's dangerous, because Stomp can cause flinching. I would even describe that as worrisome. Let's go for another one. See, if this crits, I'm in trouble. But it didn't. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. We win. We win. Okay, that wasn't anywhere near as bad as, as I was expecting. After the shit show that was Bugsy, I really thought we'd lose at least one Pokemon to this. But the Motank didn't even use Rollout. It just it just spammed Stomp, which could have been bad if it had got a lucky flinch or whatever, but... Honestly, like... Yeah, that could have been a hell of a lot worse. Nice job. Nice job, Jennifer. Oh no, you made Whitney cry. Probably, uh, just just saying, just saying, if you're that much of a fucking child that you burst into tears every time you lose a battle, maybe you shouldn't be, like, a professional Pokemon trainer. Maybe you shouldn't be running a gym. If you're that insecure. What did you just give me? Attract, okay. Attract is a nice move. What was that? Pokemon Dome next to the National Park? Is that... okay. okay. Hang on, I can't even get out of the building. I'm in a bit of a delirium right now. I really wasn't expecting to beat Whitney that easily. But, uh... Yeah, she, 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 she just mentioned, uh... She mentioned, presumably, the place to the left after you go north of the city. What, Mother? Mother what? Hello? Oh, hi, Joe. I bought a useful item with all your money. Fuck you. <laughs> she might as well say that, honestly. She might as well. Actually, we are right next to a Pokemart right now. She's bought me, like, four or five things at least, so I should, I should go pick them up. Just in case there's anything useful there. As I say, I am still on the hunt for a Moonstone. I don't actually intend to use it yet, but I, I, I want to have one ready. As much of an absolute machine as Jennifer is, I would like it if she could become even more powerful. And gain that oh-so-useful ground typing. You? Yes, you. Okay. A super potion. All right. Anything else? Rindo berries? Rindo berries. Rindo berries. Repel. Got me a repel. <laughs> Piapa the rapper berry. That's not how I pronounce repel, by the way. I just I just I just like doing that to people. I'm the worst troll in the world because I, I like trolling people, but then I, like, ten seconds later I'm like, oh shit, this makes me look stupid. <laughs> and so I immediately backtrack on it. <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, shit, hold up. I forgot something. I forgot something super important that we literally can't progress in the game without. I need a squirty bottle. Yeah. 
thank you. I like how she won't entrust a bottle of water, a squirty bottle of water, to anyone who isn't like the best Pokemon trainer in the region. I don't know what this building is, so I'm just talking to people in here for the hell of it. Oh, is this the dude who like checks happiness? No, okay. I don't know where the person who checks happiness is. I think they're in this town somewhere, but obviously it's not that building. I was mistaken. I apologise, I did not mean to mislead you all with false information. I will do my utmost to ensure that it never happens again on the Average Joe channel. But the beautiful thing is, what I just said there, that was also false information, because I am definitely not going to attempt to do anything. Oh, I can go left now. Hey, what is this place? I've been waiting for this moment for all my life. Oh lord. I wonder if I can participate too. Something about, like, Pokemon sports? The Pokethlon. Yeah, that sounds like it. You're the gym leader. Chuck. You're Chuck. You're Chuck. I know Chuck. My Nidorina is quite a Pokemon. You're right. You're right. That's all you had to do to win me over. Just compliment Jennifer. That's all it takes. So what is this? Yeah, I can see that. Sports festival for trainers and Pokemon. Inside the dome are various challenges awaiting trainers and Pokemon to test out their friendship. Why don't you try it? It's going to be one of those things where I have to do like a billion mini games now and lock a TM or something, isn't it? You're amazing, bud. This is a pleasant surprise. To see a Pokethlete with a strong potential is such a pleasure. I am glad I held the Pokeathlon here in Johto. My name is Magnus. Oh, we shall meet again, bud. See you, young. I thought that was Chuck, because he had the polyrath, and he was like a a big, bulky, mid middle-aged man, which is what Chuck is. Is that not? That's not Chuck. It's Magnus. Who's Magnus? Hey, who's Magnus? Huh. There's more to the Pokéthlon than battling. Well, I'm not interested then. <laughs> no, but for real, what? What? I know I'm meant to just go in the dome, but I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Canvas the area for information. Apri juice is a drink developed from nutrition research to improve performance. So it's like... It's like doping, then. We use Apri juice to dope our Pokemon, so we win the Poke Pokeathlon. Each Pokemon has unique traits, and new, a, true, a true new Pokeathlete knows them and lets the performance of his or her Pokemon emerge. Wow. Is this the... Is this the... Is this the Roy Juice? Energy drink. Oh. This woman just gave a passing child a blender. People are very weird in the Pokemon universe. <laughs> okay, so you put some shit in it and then every hundred steps it just... It just... It like makes a thing for you. hundred dollars for the jump juice you know who's around here the jump juice is what has helped make you know who they are today try it if you feel sluggish its richness is 38 its smoothness is 136 I don't know what that means I don't know what that means oh no there's a whole like extra extra layer of shit over here Look at this guy racing his Slowpoke and his Farfetch'd and his Psyduck. Imagine having such a diverse team. <laughs> right, let's go inside, I suppose. Whoa! Well, I wasn't expecting this fucking disco rave. Circle push. The time has come to show off your Pokémon's power. Push them away and stay in the circle. Uh. Hi Whitney, I was just walking past, I wasn't really planning on doing anything here, don't worry about it. Huh? You're going to participate in the Pokathlon looking like that? Uh oh. 
Wow, rude. Rude, first of all, I'm definitely a small. Alright, well... <laughs> Thanks. What a ditzy cow. Anyway, um, there's a bunch of desks. Hey. What? Stop just saying things. Breathing in unison. Flying sweat. Newborn friendship. Prize exchange. This is what I'm interested in. What can I get? Apricorns, rare candies. I can get a moonstone. <laughs> this might be my only source of moonstones in the game, so that... That might be something I need to worry about. Is that really all I can get from here? Um, data cards. Okay, I really don't care about any of that. I've not even played the mini games yet. Stop trying to tell me how well I did at them. Oh, that's how I play the Pokethlon Online, which I'm sure was a really popular feature that was definitely worth all the coding they had to go through to make it work. Is that really... That seems like a really limited supply of, of rewards, right? Some apricorns, moo moo milk, rare candy and a moonstone. I feel like there should be more stuff available. Maybe the prizes change on a daily basis or something? Also, there is a... There is a downstairs. What's this place? It's the solidarity room. Oh, of course it is. We all have to have a solidarity room. One person and three Pokemon seem to be learning something from looking up at the sky. That looks like four people to me, but I'm not one to judge. What's in here? What's in here? Only the poke athletes who have come in first in five of the courses are allowed in. Okay, so there's a hard mode. There's a hard mode zone. Alright. I'm pretty certain that's where Whitney went to get me the jersey, but I don't know how she got one down there. She just mugged someone. What is this? Oh. Check it out. We're looking at nothing. A lot of people here today, though. Ah, oh, that guy over there is Magnus the Pokathlon owner. I heard he wants to beat a match amp at arm wrestling. Wow. That is pretty impressive. My champs are pretty big fellas. I feel like I should talk to like every NPC here because it's a new zone and I don't know what like what they might give me. What I might be rewarded with for doing so. Shall, shall we play one of these games while we're here? Just wind down a bit from... Uh, uh, okay. Uh, I guess we'll just do the first one, the speed course. Yes. I feel like we have a couple of speedy Pokemon that might be able to do a good job of that. Oh. I became... I became someone else. I unlocked my inner person. Okay, so... Pharaoh's fast and has good stamina. Oh, but look. No stamina. No stamina whatsoever. I don't know if stamina is going to be important. Do you think speed is the only stat that matters here? I honestly don't know. Let's just enter Pharaoh. Because Pharaoh is a little bit... Uh, Big Bird's a little bit more well-rounded, right? No skill. But I can't imagine skill be... Oh, we need a full team. Okay, well, in that case, I'll just enter all three of them, won't I? Duh. Duh. Welcome to the Pokethlon. Today's event, the speed course. Who will shine brightest today? Let's meet the competitors. Ah, oh, look at these losers. Although that person does have a Ponytail and a Doe duo who are both notoriously fast Pokemon. Always giving instructions to Pokemon. How for heaps of chimp champion... Com <laughs> Team Joe Female, Big Bird, Geodude, and Jennifer. Jump, fight, be like the wind. Someday I want to fly high. Team Richard, Pidgey, Spearow, and Natu. 
Do you think you can keep up with me? They call me the Victorious Victor. What is this guy? Team Victor, Ponyta, Doduo, and Growlithe. Don't eat the grass along the road of life. My personal slogan. Team Ava, Hop Hip, Oddish, and Bellsprout. Alright, we're ready. Aim for the top. Let's Pokathlon! <laughs> Okay, Hurdle Dash. Oh, it's touch screen control. You didn't tell me it was touch screen controls. Touch the Pokemon to jump. Control three Pokemon at the same time. Okay, so it's going to be like a... Right, we touch the one that's... I feel like this is going to be harder with a mouse than it would be with a, a regular touch screen, right? Yeah, after a real good start hit. Uh, 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 uh. I'm, I'm fucking it. I'm fucking it. It's like playing an FPS. I need to get the headshots. No. No. I mean, we came first on one of our Pokemon, but I think the other two are going to let the team down a bit. Okay, we got an eighth. Oh, I didn't even didn't even try to get over. I didn't even try there. First eighth and eleventh. I feel like that's probably not going to be a, that's not going to be a winner, right? <laughs> I feel like someone's probably going to come like second, fourth, and fifth or something and uh, absolutely destroy me. Okay, I wasn't that far off, honestly. I wasn't that far off. Maybe if I got that last hurdle. In fact, if I got that last hurdle, I probably would have won. Oh well. I tried. Oh, I do have the same amount of points as Victor. Assuming there's another mini game, there is. Okay. Please don't be. T it's touchscreen controls. Okay. Slide the stylus over a Pokemon to move it. Hit others from behind to take penance. You will give me penance. Whoa! What? Okay, this is fucking bizarre. Oh, I see. I I collect the I collect the things, and then I. And then I cash them in, I guess. God, imagine if I had a stylus. Okay, we got some. We got some there. I am coming last in this event. I'm coming last for sure. This is this is so hard. Go away. I didn't even know what I was meant to do until like halfway through the first round. Go away. Leave me. Oh, I'm not going to get back in time. I'm not going to get No. Okay. I got a new record. If you don't count the NPCs, <laughs> I am yeah, hundred percent fourth in that one. Hundred percent. Okay. I don't think I can. I don't think I can win this. It's almost like I'm meant to play this game on an actual DS and not on an emulator or something, which I'm definitely doing, by the way. I just happen to use a mouse for my DS. Quickly flick to dash. Flick, flick as fast as you can. Oh no. To go faster, switch when you're tired. This is going to be awful. This is going to be so bad. Okay, okay, okay. Go, 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 go down. Uh oh. Go, go. Oh no, 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 no. Don't lap me, bro. Go! Go! Why are you stop? Oh, okay. Oh, I meant to hit the switch button, I get it. I understand. It. I thought it happened automatically before because I'm apparently just an idiot and didn't realise I clicked the button. Uh, please. Okay, switch. Switch when I'm tired. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. 
Can I switch? I'm tired. My finger's suffering. Switch. <laughs> I hate this. I hate this so much. Why did I do this? Why didn't I just play the Pokemon game? Why did I get involved in this bullshit? Switch. Oh no. One second. Okay. Alright. I did 8.5 laps. Is that enough for me to win? <laughs> oh. <laughs> In retrospect, the first minigame went quite well compared to the others. Please don't. Please don't have an, a, a long-winded award ceremony where they really rub in my face just how badly I did. Oh, I got 30 points for something, which was less than everyone else got, so... Oh. They're just really rubbing salt in the wound now, huh? Team Victor... Okay, Ponytag got more points. Okay, cool. Pokemon jumped the most. I, I didn't realise jumping was even an option. Was jumping an option? Oh, I'm already behind and that was on my best event. Wow. Congratulations, Team Victor. Well, I'm never doing that again. I'm sure this is a very fun minigame compilation if you're playing on the correct hardware. Which I definitely am. Just to be sure. Just to be clear. I may have got 255 points, but that's not enough to buy that fucking moonstone, so I don't care. I'm just not go if, if, if that's the only moonstone in the game, then uh, Jennifer's just not evolving. Simple as that. She'll be in Nidorina forever. I don't mind. I'll live with that. <laughs> Let's move on, shall we? We have a pseudo Wudo to... Pseudo. No, I've got nothing. I've got nothing. Are we like healed? Yeah, we're like healed. That's fine. So we're allowed to catch the pseudo Wudo. It's legal, because I haven't caught anything on this route yet. So the goal here is to not, uh, not kick it to death, basically. That's the dream right now. No promises. It doesn't like the squirt bottle. It doesn't like being squirted on by a young girl. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I say some bad things. Let's just go back to more base toilet humour, like talking about how pseudo Wudo has the body of a literal turd. He is just a poo with arms. Yeah, good double kick ain't, ain't fucking him too hard. Get another one of them out and then start to... Uh oh. That has the potential to really mess me up. Especially after I double kick it again. Chew! Oh. Sneezing because of all the COVID I've got. Ugh. Oh. Really giving me a hard time. Okay, right, okay, 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 all right. Be caught. Be caught. Be caught. That wasn't being caught, was it? Hey, pseudo weirdo. That wasn't being caught. Shall we try that again? You want to do it right this time? I say I'm going to passively, aggressively insult the pseudo Wudo until it gets in my ball. Does it only know low kick and flail? I feel like it's level 20, it should have access to more moves than that. But it seems to be all it's spamming. I could just use a better ball. I know I have ultra balls and shit. I feel like I can catch it with a regular one though, I came real close that first time. I feel like I'm starting to put Jennifer at risk of, of death by flail right now, though.
Oh, rock throw. Oh, okay, okay, okay. See, the the problem we have now is both Big Bird and Geodude are weak to rock throw. I think Geodude can take at least one safely. Okay, we en enough fucking around with regular Pokeballs. Uh, we'll step it up to Great Ball. I want to save the Ultra Ball. You never know when I might need it. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. This is not okay. Be caught. Become my willing slave. That was all I had to say. Just had to let him know what was in store for him. I've got a great name prepared for a pseudo wudo as well, right? A pseudo wudo, of course. Um, pseudo wood, fake fake wood. What provides fake wood? Well, I'll tell you what provides fake wood. This is Viagra, the pseudo wudo, which is somehow even funnier because she's female. That was fun. It wasn't fun. It was harrowing. Thanks for the berry pots, whatever the fuck those are. With the berry pots, you can grow any berry from any region with no worries. Wait, so I I just like grow them in my inventory now? Is that a thing? I mean, yeah, thanks for the berries and shit. You have to plant berries in the soil. You should water them from time to time. I'm confused. Could I not just do that anyway? Although I don't know where I'd plant them, because there is no soft and loamy soil or whatever. How does this work? How do berry pots work? I'm genuinely intrigued. I'll probably never use them, but I am actually... actually intrigued by this. Berry pots. Berry pots. Berry pots. Berry pots. I'm gonna grab uh, Viagra out of the PC. I think she will be a helpful assistant in future Pokemoning. So I really need to change the box that people are being deposited to because they're just going straight into the graveyard at the moment, which is quite unsettling. Box one. There you go. Uh, can I like... If I just do this, does that... Does that set the right box? I don't know. I don't know at all. Right, so what are we looking at with Viagra then? Are you good, Viagra? You're jolly. Don't know what that means. Speed up, special attack down. That's probably pretty sound. Got sturdy, so he's definitely never... She, sorry, he's definitely never going to get one shot. Flail, low kick, rock throw, and mimic. That's not exactly the best moveset I've ever seen, but rock throw would at least give us some... Uh, some new options regarding fucking people up. Alright. Welcome to the team. You're my new lead. I'm just, I'm honestly just happy to have any type on the team that isn't bird or poison. And yes, bird is their type now. God, look at that sprite. I've never used a pseudo weirdo in my life. I've played a lot of Pokemon. I've never really wanted to have one on team. But right now, it's kind of a needs must sort of thing, right? We, we just need anything that is is providing me any more combat options whatsoever. You give me something for, for the tree, right? Yeah. You give me the, the old ro rocker smashers. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, dude. 
I'm trying to remember if there are any rocks to smash down in Union Cape. There was, actually. You know what? I re distinctly remember saying to myself, hey, there's a rock here that I'm never going to smash because I'm never going to remember it's here. And it's just outside Union Cave. And I'm going to go smash it now. Because I've remembered. And uh, it's going to be great. And I'm going to get a, a really cool item. Was it a rock smash or was it a cut? Fuck, I don't know now. I'm questioning myself. Currently, I have... No Pokemon equipped with either HM. But, uh... We'll see what we need when we get there, and see whether we can we can handle it. That's the appropriate response. Crossing the bridge when they come to it, I believe, is the, uh, is the term. If wild level 4s could stop harassing my angry rock tree, that would be that would be pretty cool of them, honestly. Oh, it's fucking intimidated me. I I don't I don't wanna fight. I really don't wanna fight. I just wanna pass through unimpeded. I am much too powerful for this zone now. It appears they don't care. They appear to be uh, unimpeded by my words. This is fucking ridiculous. Jesus Christ, I just wanted to come and grab a single item that was down here. I should be killing these really, because the good EVs. Both Bellsprout and Ekans, I believe, both give attack EVs. That is impressive. It is impressive that I didn't one-shot that. I know Flail does like no damage if you're on full health, but even so, I, I figured it's a level six Bell Sprout, you know. Right. So what was it we needed to do down here? Rock Smash. Cool. I'm gonna teach that to uh, to my boy, to my new boy. I'm certain I can forget any moves I, I no longer want. I'm pretty certain that's how this game works. So it's it's not going to be a permanent fixture on him. Oh, but Bronze can learn it. Bronze, you are my new HM slave. Congratulations. Can you learn Cut as well? Yes, he can. Bronze, I love you. Bronze, you're my new best friend. Thanks for being you. Fuck it up, Bronze. You're not third place in my heart anymore. It's a Shell Bell. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, honestly. Shell Bell, I believe, is the hold item that means you recover health every time you hit something. Yes. Okay, who wants this? Give it to Viagra, honestly. Welcome to the team. Have my best item. <laughs> He's just the tankiest, I believe, so it just makes good sense. Joe, howdy, it's Todd, how are you? My Psyduck is looking more and more like me. It's getting cuter. The first part of the sentence was weird. The second part was just not processable anymore. And you know, we are fail we just failed to beat Drowsy by a tiny margin. I'm guessing my Pokemon's levels aren't high enough yet. See you later. Wow, you fucking suck, dude. You fucking suck. You can't even beat wild Pokemon in your region. <laughs> it sounds like one of those fucking uh, ads you get on porn websites. Hot girls in your region. <laughs> wild Pokemon in your region. Drowsy, 12, is uh, looking to hook up for a Pokemon battle. <laughs> 12 was his level, just to be clear on that. I'm not implying anything sexual. It was, it was, uh... Yeah, let's stop talking about it. We're moving, we're moving on. We're progressing with the game. We beat Whitney, remember? That happened at the start of this video, and then I got massively sidetracked by all that other bullshit. But we can actually progress now, so... Fucking A. Fucking finally. We can head to Ecrutique City. And, uh... Not attempt the ghost gym yet, because goddamn, that's gonna be a struggle for me right now.
do, 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 do. item. That's an absurdly early hypey hi potion. <laughs> I got me hypey potion. Get hype, it's a hyper potion. Double battle, sweet. Uh, who are we uh, Who are we pairing with? Still not certain on leveling Big Bird. So we'll do this. I don't know, I feel like I'm being mean to Big Bird by, by not by not continuing to train it, but it's like flying types have too many weaknesses for me to carry two of them in my team, you know what I mean? Speaking of weaknesses... Look, it's two things that beat my two Pokemon that are out right now. Uh, you fuck that up, and you... Uh, y yeah. Damn it. Damn it. What are the chances? What are the chances of them both surviving like that? It's fine. It's fine. He can take it. Bag was a big boy. That was actually... Took that really well. I thought that would be way worse than that. Yeah, okay. My dude's a tanky. Way to go, team. Taking super effective moves like champions. I mean, yeah, I know they're unevolved and lower level than us and everything, but they're not that much lower level than us. Take that, sheep and orb rat. I don't really know what a, what a barrel's supposed to be. It's just Pika Blue, isn't it? Just Pika Blue. Another double battle. Sweet. Let's keep going. I assume it's another double battle anyway, not just two single ones. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's a weird way for that to trigger, but sure. Oh, look, it's two identical women. That's a scarier team than what I was just fighting. Alright. Uh, well, low kick's going to be super effective. Which one do we want to bully down first? I feel like Clefable probably has Metronome, which means it's probably the bigger threat, right? Probably. Is it worth Confuse Ray in them? I don't know how tanky they're going to be. Okay, let's just hit it with some moves and see if it kills it. Oh, okay. I guess maybe we'll just crit. That makes life easier for everyone. Alright. What you got, Wigglytuff? What you got? What are you going to drop on me? Fair. Understandable. Oh shit, they have more. Uh... Should probably swap out, huh? Bring Jenny from the block in. Double kick these bitches. Oh yeah, you don't fuck with Jenny. What? I attacked the wrong one. I meant to finish the. I meant to finish the half dead one. Oh, I suck. <laughs> Whoops. I didn't mean to suck. It just sort of happened that way. Alright, uh, it's really hard to tell which one you're attacking here, honestly. You would assume left or right, right? Fucking hell, these guys, they're just shutting my whole team down. Putting half of it to sleep, making the other half fall in love. To be fair, falling in love and going to sleep, those... Those probably aren't the worst things that could happen in a Pokemon battle, now that I think about it. Those are pretty, uh, pretty positive outcomes. Well, I went into a battle to death, to the death, and I ended up, uh, having a nice nap and meeting the love of my life. It was truly horrifying. Still have Vietnam flashbacks to it. Ah, 
I like how fucking done with everything Clefable looks. Just those lines around its eyes just make it look like it's just had the worst, roughest day. And it's like... It's, it's doing like a little dance to try and pretend that everything's okay. But it, it, everything isn't okay for Clefable. Everything isn't okay. Clefable has seen too much. Clefable has, has been to places that you don't even want to know about. Yeah, I'm strong. I'm very mighty. Right. Easiest route ever. At Critique City, here we are. We have arrived. Oh, shit. Hold up. I just remembered something. I didn't technically get a Pokemon in Goldenrod, right? Right? I didn't technically do that. I'm not even sure what the Nuzlocke rules are regarding Pokemon you just get given for free. But... I'm happy to count this as a, a Goldenrod catch. Like, I won't go fishing in Goldenrod for an extra bonus Pokemon at any time. Because if I go back to Goldenrod now, Bill will give me an Eevee. And that has some potential for covering some of my weaknesses. I think a Vaporeon would straight up just... give me so many more options right now. Right? Yeah, we're doing that. Again, don't know where to get a water stone. Probably through the Pokethlon stuff that I literally can't do. But definitely worth going back and picking up an Eevee, I think. I think for sure worth going back and picking up an Eevee. I'm just grabbing these apricorns just in case I ever need them. Well, I'll tell you why I'm grabbing them. Because they were talking about apricorn juice making those uh, Pokethlon events easier, and if I do end up having to do them in order to evolve my Pokemon, if I do end up having to grind them out, then uh, maybe I can compensate for the fact that I have to use a fucking mouse instead of a stylus uh, by just overpowering the fuck out of my Pokemon, you know what I mean? That's probably quite scary, isn't it? A level 17 drowsy. It's probably something I don't really want to fuck with. I don't know if it's got anything worth learning. It's not likely to know a dark attack I can use to super effective it, is it? I'll just rock throw and see what happens. Oh, that's pretty good damage. Pretty good damage. Yeah, nearly one shot it. It's pretty good. It's acceptable. I've always really liked Drowsy's design. It's like a tape here or something, right? I think they're really cool. I think they're one of the, the great underrated Pokemon. Hypno's a little bit creepy, honestly. I don't like the way they... Uh, they're a bit humanoid. You know what I mean? They, they've taken on too many human elements. Which makes them a bit upsetting to look at. But, uh... But Drowsy. Drowsy's, Drowsy's pretty cool. I like Drowsy. Always sort of lived in the shadow of, of Abra and, and them, right? as the other psychic Pokemon. But now it's like, feels a slightly different role because it's a, like a physical attacker, I believe. Rocks the Zen headbutt and stuff. I believe it learns some pretty cool like poison moves and stuff as well for some reason. It's, it's, got, it's got some options, does Drowsy. Don't know why it took me so long to work out where the run button was there, but I was too busy talking about Drowsy. Talking about my boy Drowsy. I wish I'd got a drowsy now, I really do. I wish I hadn't tried to headbutt that tree and instead walked into the field to see if I could perhaps grab myself a drowsy. Oh well. Never mind. Uh, where do we want to be? Over here? Is that building I walked into accidentally before? This one, I think. Bill! Hey! Please, take my Pokemon. You can count on me to play with Eevee. Oh, really? Okay, fine. Fine, I'll go deposit someone. You're not going to send them straight to the uh, straight to the PC for me. That would have been real helpful, but it's fine.
Go away, F. You've served, served your purpose. I don't think I ever, I ever like, properly commented on how fucking perfect it is that I got the F, the press F to pay respects, unknown, on a, on a nuzlocke. It's very thematic, I do enjoy it. Yes, I will take your Eevee. I have no intention of leveling it until I work out where to get a water stone, but right now, I will take it. I think I want to go Vaporeon with it anyway. I do have trouble with rock types. It does give me another thing that's weak to electricity. Hmm. Um. Because I don't know what it's going to evolve into, let's just give it a, a pretty generic name. This is Nugget. This is Nugget the Eevee. See, I think an Espeon might be nice, just because Psychic types are kind of rare. <sighs> Not sure Flareon would be much use to me if I'm going to be having a ground type in Nidoqueen. I don't know, I'm going to have to think on it, but... As previously explained, I literally can't evolve it yet anyway, because I don't know where to get stones. It's just, uh... Just something I'm going to have to think on for the future. And speaking of the future, I think that's when we're going to have to pick up this uh, recording because it is about 50 minutes in, in now, so it's probably about time I stop. Uh, thanks for watching, as ever, and I'll see you people next time. Bye!